Hey, what's up everybody? It's Alex from Everything for iPod. Today I am making a Photoshop tutorial on how to make a neon text effect, uh, which looks really awesome in my opinion. So this is what the effect looks like. You can see I used it in my Yif Clan background. Um, so it just has a really cool kind of uh, electronic and broken up text effect. So as you can see, it says GIF just a bunch of times over and over. I'm just going to show you how to make one, um, one word that looks like this. But if you would like to, I will also just point out real fast. It is pretty much the same thing to make it um, how I made it with a bunch of different words. You just have to... Um, duplicate the layer a bunch of times and spread them out so I'll show you how to do that too but basically in the video I'm just gonna make one just to save time but let's go ahead and get right into this so you're gonna need Photoshop so I have CS5 but older versions will work as well make a new document and I'm gonna go ahead and just make this like 900 by 600 you can make it whatever you want Okay, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit just so you guys can see what I'm doing a little better. And unlock your background layer. And we're going to want to go ahead and fill that with white. So use our paint bucket tool. I mean, sorry, fill that with black. Now, no matter what you want your background color to be, it is important that you use black for this. Um, you will be It'll be transparent in the end, so you will be able to use whatever color background you want at the end of the video but you must use black right here then make a new layer as I just did by clicking that and it'll say layer one go to your text tool choose a font I think that Bebas Noe is pretty cool I don't think that's a default font on the computer though um, so Futura looks really cool with this effect too which is what I used but Bebas Noe looks awesome as well so set the font size to whatever you want um, I'm gonna just type uh, Alex or I'll type Lighty and make sure it's set to white and uh, as you can see that's actually really small let me just zoom out actually uh, so that looks really small I'm gonna make the text size a little bigger that looks better and also if you want to space out the letters a little more I think that looks um, really cool uh, just gives it a makes it a little more um, simplistic I guess uh, and it kind of makes it easier to read in the end so what you're gonna do is click on character right here and just set your tracking which is this AV to 20 I already have mine set but it'll be at zero if you want to you can set it to 20 I think it makes it a little easier to read okay so there's the text and basically what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead over and first we're going to rest right click on the uh, text layer and rasterize it and now we are going to command click on both of the layers and merge them so we have one layer now that's black and white and has our text and now we are going to go into filter distort and wave now here's the settings that I found to work the best you want to have the number of generators set on one the wavelength minimum at 257 and the max at 235 the amplitude minimum at 62 and the maximum at 141 and then the uh, scale horizontally at 24 and the vertical scale at 22 percent and you want to make sure type is on square and undefined areas is repeat edge pixels you can play around with this a little uh, if you want and even hit randomize just to get something that looks cool to you I actually like what just popped up there but you can drag any of these around if you feel like you want to make anything different wavelength I found changing this does the most but also you can just hit randomize and that'll uh, make it a little different when you're done click OK and that's where you get the little distorted look from so I think that looks pretty cool it's not too hard to read you can still understand what it's saying so that's what I'm saying if like you have something that makes it really hard to understand what you're saying you might want to go ahead and play around with those settings so now we're gonna go ahead into the filter again pixely and fragment and this will give it this little outline look and one more time we're gonna go into filter stylize and glowing edges over here in edge width make sure it's set to one edge brightness six and uh, smoothness is set to one click OK 
and you will get that. So what you want to do now is either, depending on if you're a Mac, you want to click Command A on your keyboard. If you're on a PC, Control A, that'll select everything. Then either Command C or Control C, depending on what system you're on, and that'll copy it. Now over here in your Layers box, click on Channels. Click down to make a new channel. It'll create a channel called Alpha 1. Command or Control V to paste it in. And now you want to either hold down Command or Control and click on the little icon next to Alpha 1. That'll select just the text itself, um, just what you have typed in. Now either Command or Control C to copy. Head back over to your layers, create a new layer, and paste. And now you can um, hide the original layer that we made, and you can even delete it. Oops. So delete the uh, original layer, and then make another layer in the back. Um, make it just title it background, and you can fill it whatever with whatever you want. I'm just gonna fill mine with black, and I'll make it a little cooler um, in a little bit. So hold down Command or Control and click on layer one again to select it, and you want to go into layer, new fill layer, solid color, and click OK, and then set the color to white and click OK. Now right click on color fill one and you want to convert it to a smart object and then rasterize it. And now you can delete layer one so you'll have background and color fill one. So color fill one is just the text and background is your background. So make sure you go into the um, layer style of color fill one and now we're is now's where you get to choose your colors so you can choose from one of the gradients they have or you can make your own um, uh, let's do that one looks pretty cool actually right here so I'm just gonna use that one but you can choose whatever you want make your own whatever and you wanna turn the opa uh, opacity down to about 15 percent now this is gonna look really dull and like it, it's gonna look like it doesn't have any color but it'll pop out a little more later so uh, just put it to around 15. If you want to make it a little more or a little less, you can. But click OK once you've done that. OK, now you want to make sure you, that layer is selected again. And you want to go and duplicate it. Set the uh, style to soft light. And now go to filter. And you want to go to blur, Gaussian blur. And set the radius to 4 pixels. And now you want to duplicate that again, so it'll make the same thing. And now go back to color fill one, so you'll have, for, you'll have two layers that are both soft light with Gaussian blur. And now you'll have one layer down at the bottom that is just color fill on normal. You want to duplicate that, the normal one, one more time. And you want to make that the bottom of the four layers that we made that are very similar. So put that on the bottom. And now you want to do... Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and set it to 6 pixels this time, and click OK. And you want to set the style to Overlay. Okay, and that'll give it a uh, blurred effect somewhat, but not completely blurred where it's hard to read. And it also makes it kind of neon-y. Um, go back, if you want to uh, make it a little more bright, if you don't think it's bright enough, you can go into Color Fill 1, um, which is like the third one down. And you can go into gradient overlay and turn the opacity up a little bit. Uh, I like mine at about 45 now. Um, that looks pretty good to me. And now for your background, of course, you can go in and put a gradient overlay. Do whatever you want with it. Make it, you know, whatever you want. Just make it look cool. And uh, that's pretty much it. That's how to make a text effect, uh, this neon text effect. Now, if you, let me just go ahead and leave it at black for a second. Okay, so how I made the um, all all of them together in my layout is basically uh, I just had all of them selected and I held down Option. Oh, I first you have to make sure the Move tool is selected and hold down Option to uh, duplicate it and I just pretty much dragged this all over until I got an effect that I liked and just had the uh, text all over. And it just adds it a uh, cool effect to it, and you can overlap them and make it look awesome. And uh, that's pretty much how I did it. Um, 
So I hope you guys liked this. Hope it wasn't too confusing, but you can always go back, rewind, and feel free to ask any questions that you want. I'll be willing to help. Don't forget to subscribe and also check out my gaming channel uh, that I use this text effect for. Uh, YouTube.com slash YifClan. There'll be a link to that in the description. Also, check out my Twitter. Follow me, and I'll catch you guys later. See ya.